as Career High's resident food and wine expert, Antony Porofsky, knows how to make entertaining look effortless. Yeah, and in his new book, he's bringing us into the kitchen with some easy tips and delicious recipes to impress all your guests. And we are so excited to catch up with him now. Welcome, Antony. Thank you so much Hi. for having me. Yeah, you look nice. Thanks for coming. I know. Thanks. I love Took this. Took a shower this morning, put on a new cardigan. Love Goodness. that. That always helps. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about this book. The beginning it tells your story. It's not just a cook. It's more than a cookbook. When you set out to kind of write this book and put it together, what was kind of, what, how did you want this to look? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm a sentimental guy. Anyone who's seen Queer Eye knows that I'm very sensitive and I love a good cry and I'm very emotional. <laughs> and so when I was approaching the cookbook, at first we were thinking, like, do we want this to be a technical piece as like something like we do on Queer Eye where we really just teach people the basics. Yeah. And what I realized is like every single dish that's in there has a story behind yeah. it because all the food in our lives, there's always a story of like when you first had that on a date with your significant other, something yeah. that your grandmother made for you or that somebody prepared for you that you really cared about. Yeah. So I wanted to be a, like a really personal, it's like a culinary autobiography. Yeah, I love it. Tell yeah. us about the work that went into it. Is it true that most of the recipes have five ingredients or less? So a lot of them do. I'm, I'm sadly not Italian, unfortunately. <laughs> I took a 23 in me. That is and oh, Zero percent. You cried. But the, yeah, but what the Italians do, right, is that they really use few ingredients, yeah. high quality, and it's all about technique and really showcasing those ingredients, and that's kind of like my, my philosophy for food. Yeah. Um, some of them are more complex. The Polish recipes are a little more laborious, but some of like the week, weeknight eats are a little are on the easier side, for yeah. sure. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, and you share your top 10 mantras. Yes. in the book, including your love for frozen peas. They I love a frozen okay? pea. Not, I don't eat them frozen, just yeah, to clarify. No, no, right, but right. I love Just I out love of the bag, frozen, frozen peas. Because they, they freeze them at optimal freshness. That I sounds know. like an endorsement, but I don't have one yet. Yes, um, I yeah. know. No, I agree with you on that. And cheese and nuts are key. And then hot Zurich can cure any hangover. Okay, so Zurich. What is that? Zurich is the, it's the Polish potion. I had many a hangover in my 20s, and I worked at a Polish restaurant, and the grandmas there would give me a bowl of this stuff. And it has zakfas, which is like a fermented rye yeast. It sounds weird. Don't freak out. <laughs> I'm it's like, very what? sour. <laughs> There's pickle and hard-boiled egg and just loads of full-fat sour cream. Wow. And it would bring me back to life. Really? Yes. Oh, my God. It has bacon and pork sausage. What? It's just like, it's a warm that hug. That is so much. <laughs> when you have a grandmother <laughs> serving it to you, it's like, everything's yes. going to be fine. But with a hangover? Yeah, you'll get Ooh. through these sweats. You'll I be okay. Don't know. All right, you have a town hall um, with Ted Mike Allen. Allen. Ted, Ted Allen. Allen. And I know people come up to you all the time. What do people say to you most when first, fans come up? Because we know they love first, you. First, I just want to say I'm so excited to be at town hall tonight with Ted, who is the OG food yeah, and wine yeah, guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was his personal assistant, so he's going to be oh drilling me God. on that stage tonight. He nice. loves to embarrass me. Um, but I think what fans often ask the most, I think they're just... People are very honest, and they just ask, like, do you guys actually, the five of you, get along on Queer Eye? Mm. It was a weird circumstance, the way that we all met. And sure, we argue over temperature every once in a while. Bobby <laughs> likes it really cold, and Karama <laughs> likes it a little warmer. But all in all, like, we're going through this incredible phenomenon together yeah. because there is nothing normal about it, and we're like brothers. Yeah. That's we're nice. like a boy band in our 30s. I love it. Some of us closer to 40, but I'm not here to shame her. <laughs> The show's going to be back in a few weeks. They released the trailer for it. It shows that you guys are going to be in Japan. What an amazing experience. Like, what, what, what's life, this, what tell us about this season. Life changing. I yeah. was really intimidated because we're actually helping um, Japanese heroes. And so I thought that there was going to be a commu like an, an issue with communication. But we had um, this wonderful translator. And there's this moment that happens when she's sort of like switching from Japanese to English. And you have this forced contact where you're looking into each other's eyes. And we would just both randomly start crying. Like the oh stories that God. are there, I think, touches on the fact of like the universality of all the things that we deal with, wanting to be loved, wanting to love someone else, acceptance, all of that stuff. It doesn't yeah. matter where you go. Yeah. And the show just continues to unify us, which is what we need in today's economy. You, you know? love being is. a part of this. Yes, it it's is. so special. Yeah, I'm so insanely grateful. Yeah, yeah. I think about it every single day. I yeah, really you do. have to be. All right, well, that's great. You can pick up Anthony in the Kitchen out everywhere now and head to AnthonyProfsky.com for all of his upcoming events. And he's looking for some sponsorships, right? For peace, really. <laughs> for peace, for peace. peace. Very specific really about sponsorships. I just want free peace for life. <laughs> Frozen peas. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. <laughs> no calls from farmers.